Your mind is the most powerful tool you possess. It is the key to unlocking your true potential, to living a life of purpose and fulfillment. But here is the thing. If you do not learn to control your mind, it will control you. Imagine for a moment that your mind is like a garden. Every thought you have is a seed. What kind of seeds are you planting? Are they seeds of doubt, fear, and negativity? Or are they seeds of hope, love, and possibility? My friends, the thoughts you choose to nurture will grow and flourish in the garden of your mind. They will shape your reality, influence your actions, and ultimately determine the course of your I want you to take a deep breath. Feel the air filling your lungs. As you exhale, let go of any preconceived uh, notions about who you are and what you are capable of. Because in this moment, right here and now, you have the power to reshape your entire existence. Controlling your mind does not mean suppressing your thoughts or emotions. It is about becoming aware of them, understanding them, and then consciously choosing which ones to focus on and which ones to let go. Think about it like this. Idiot, your mind is like a radio station, constantly broadcasting thoughts, but you, you are the DJ. You get to choose which tracks to play and which ones to skip. You have the power to change the station whenever you want. How do we begin this journey of mind control? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to your thoughts. Notice the patterns. Are you constantly criticizing yourself? Are you always worrying about the future? Or are you appreciating the present moment and focusing on your strengths? Once you become aware of your thought patterns, you can start to challenge them. Ask yourself, is this thought serving me? Is it bringing me closer to my goals and dreams? Or is it holding me back? Remember, my friends, your thoughts are not facts, they're just thoughts. You have the power to question them, to change them, to let them go. Talk about the power of affirmations. Affirmations are positive statements that can help reprogram your subconscious mind. When you repeat an affirmation, you are planting a new seed in the garden of your mind. Try this. Um, every morning when you wake up, look in the mirror and say, I am capable of amazing things. I am worthy of love and success. I have the power to create the life I desire. Say it with conviction. Feel the truth of these words in your bones. At first, it might feel uncomfortable. Your old thought patterns might resist. But remember, you are the gardener of your mind. Keep planting those seeds of positivity. Keep watering them with belief and watch how they grow and transform your life. Another powerful tool for controlling your mind is meditation. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Meditation, that's not for me. I can't sit still. My mind is too busy. But here is the secret. Meditation is not about emptying your mind. It is about observing your thoughts without judgment. Start small. Set aside just five minutes a day to sit in silence. Focus on your breath. When thoughts come, and they will come. Simply acknowledge them and let them pass like clouds in the sky. Do not try to push. Do not get frustrated. Just observe. Over time, you all start to notice something remarkable. The space between your thoughts will grow. You all find moments of stillness, of pure awareness. And in those moments, you all tap into a wellspring of peace and clarity that's always... Talk about the power of visualization. Your mind does not know the difference between what's real and what's vividly imagined. When you visualize your goals and dreams with clarity and emotion, you are sending a powerful message to your subconscious mind. You are programming it for success. Take a few minutes each day to close your eyes and visualize your ideal life. See yourself achieving your goals. Feel the emotions of success, of joy, of fulfillment. Make it as real and vivid as possible. Engage all your senses. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? This is not just daydreaming, my friends. This is actively shaping your reality. Because when you consistently visualize your goals, you are more likely to recognize opportunities when they arise. You are more likely to take inspired action. You are aligning your conscious and subconscious mind towards a common purpose. Now let's address something that often holds people back from controlling their minds. Fear, fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown, these fears can paralyze us, keeping us stuck in our comfort zones. It carries just false evidence appearing real. 
It is a creation of your mind based on past experiences or imagined future scenarios. And just as you created it, you have the power to dissolve it. The next time you feel fear creeping in, take a moment to pause. Take a deep breath. Ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen and, and could I handle it if it did? More often than not, you all realize that you are stronger and more resilient than you give yourself credit for. Remember, courage is not the absence of fear. It is feeling the fear and taking action anyway. Every time you face your fears, you are strengthening your mind. You are proving to yourself that you are capable of overcoming obstacles. Let's talk about the power of your words. The language you use, both in your internal dialogue and in your conversations with others, has a profound impact on your mindset and your reality. Pay attention to the words you use. Are you constantly saying things like, I can't, it is too hard, or I'm not good enough? These phrases are like weeds in the garden of your mind, choking out the flowers of possibility. Instead, start using empowering language. Replace I can with how can I. Replace it is too hard with this as an opportunity to grow. Replace I'm not good enough with I'm learning and improving every day. This is not about denying reality or pretending everything is perfect. It is about framing challenges in a way that empowers you rather than defeats you. It is about focusing on solutions rather than problems. The importance of gratitude in controlling your mind. Gratitude is like a magic elixir for your thoughts. It has the power to transform your entire... My friends, what you focus on expands. When you focus on what's wrong in your life, you all find more things to complain about. But when you focus on what you are grateful for, you all find more reasons to be thankful. Try this. Every night before you go to bed, write down three things you're grateful for. They do not have to be big things. Maybe you are grateful for the warm sun on your face, for the smile of a loved one, for the cup of coffee you enjoyed in the morning. As you practice gratitude consistently, you all start to notice a shift in your mindset. You all become more aware of the abundance in your life. You all start to see opportunities where before you only saw obstacles. Remember, controlling your mind is not about forcing yourself to be positive all the time. It is about cultivating awareness, making conscious choices, and gradually shifting your perspective. It is also important to understand that controlling your mind is a lifelong journey. There will be days when it feels easy, when your thoughts naturally align with your highest self. And there will be days when it is a struggle, when old patterns resurface and doubts creep in. On those difficult days, be gentle with yourself. Remember that you are human. It is okay to have negative thoughts or emotions. The key is not to dwell on them, not to let them define you. Think of your mind like a muscle. Just as you wouldn't expect to build physical strength overnight, you can't expect to master your mind in a day. It takes consistent practice, patience, and perseverance. Every time you catch yourself in a negative thought pattern and choose to shift your focus, you are strengthening your mental muscle. Every time you choose gratitude over complaint, you are building your mental resilience. Talk about the power of your beliefs. Uh, your beliefs are like the operating system of your mind. They determine how you interpret and respond to the world around you. Many of our beliefs are formed in childhood based on what we were told by authority figures or what we concluded from our experiences. But here is the thing. Because you believe something for a long time does not mean it is true or helpful. Take some time to examine your beliefs. Are they serving you? Are they aligned with the person you want to become? If not, you have the power to... Remember, belief is just a thought you have thought over and over again until it feels true. By consistently thinking new thoughts, you can create new beliefs that empower you rather than limit you. For example, if you've always believed, I'm not creative, start looking for evidence to the contrary. Maybe you come up with unique solutions at work. Maybe you have a, a knack for arranging flowers or cooking delicious meals. Start affirming, I am creative in my own unique way. You shift your beliefs. You all start to notice changes in your behavior and your results. 
Because when you believe something is possible, you are more likely to take the actions necessary to make it a reality. Address something that often sabotages our efforts to control our minds comparison. In today's world, with social media constantly showing us curated glimpses of others' lives, it is easy to fall into the trap of comparison. But remember this. A comparison is the thief of joy. When you compare yourself to others, you're usually comparing your behind the scenes to their highlight reel. Instead of comparing yourself to others, compare yourself to who you were yesterday. Focus on your own growth, your own progress. Celebrate your small victories. Acknowledge how far you've come. And when you do look at others' success, let it inspire you rather than discourage you. If they can do it, why not you? Their success does not diminish your potential. There is enough abundance in this world for everyone to succeed. Talk about the power of your environment in shaping your mind. Just as a plant is influenced by the soil it is planted in, your mind is influenced by your surroundings. Take a look at the people you spend the most time with. Are they supportive and positive? Do they challenge you to grow or do they constantly complain and bring you down? You have heard the saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. While this might not be literally true, there is no denying that the people around us have a significant impact on our mindset. Seek out people who inspire you, who believe in you, encourage you to be your best self. Limit your exposure to negative influences, whether that's people, news, or social media. Create an environment that nurtures your mind. Surround yourself with books that inspire you, music that uplifts you, art that moves you. Make your physical space a reflection of the mindset you want to cultivate. The importance of taking action and controlling your mind. You see, thoughts and actions have a reciprocal relationship. Your thoughts influence your actions, but your actions also influence your thoughts. When you take action towards your goals, even small steps, you're sending a powerful message to your mind. You are proving to yourself that you're capable, that you are committed, that you are making progress. Do not wait until you feel honored, ready, or confident. Take action now with whatever resources you have. As you act, your confidence will grow. As you make progress, your belief in yourself will strengthen. Remember, my friends, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Every failure is an opportunity to learn, to grow, to refine your approach. When you view it this way, you free your mind from the paralysis of perfection Talk about the power of forgiveness in controlling your mind. Holding on to grudges, resentment, or past hurts is like carrying a heavy weight in your mind. It drains your energy and keeps you stuck in the past. Forgiveness does not mean condoning what happened. It does not mean you have to reconcile with someone who hurt you. Forgiveness is about freeing yourself. It is about choosing peace over resentment. This includes forgiving yourself. We're often our own harshest critics, holding on to past mistakes and beating ourselves up. But remember, you did the best you could with the knowledge and resources you had at the time. As Maya Angelou said, when you know better, you do better. Practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer a good friend. This does not mean making excuses for yourself, but it does mean acknowledging your humanity and your capacity for growth. The role of purpose in controlling your mind. When you have a clear sense of purpose, a compelling vision for your life, it becomes easier to direct your thoughts and actions. Your purpose does not have to be grand or world changing. It can be as simple as being the best parent you can be. Creating art that touches people's hearts or making a positive difference in your community. Take some time to reflect on what truly matters to you. What are your values? What kind of impact do you want to have? What makes you come alive? When you align your thoughts and actions with your purpose, you all find a sense of clarity and direction. You all have a North Star to guide you when life gets challenging. Talk about the power of questions in controlling your mind. The questions you ask yourself shape your focus and your reality. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? Ask, what can I learn from this? Instead of, what if I fail? Ask, what if I succeed? Instead of, what's wrong with me? Ask, what are my strengths? By asking empowering questions, you direct your mind towards solutions and possibilities rather than problems and limitations. 
the importance of balance and controlling your mind. This is not about being positive all the time or suppressing negative emotions. It is about finding equilibrium. Acknowledge your emotions, both positive and negative. Feel them fully. But do not let them control you. Remember, you are not your emotions. You are the awareness that experiences them. Practice emotional intelligence. Learn to recognize and understand your emotions. Use them as information to guide your actions rather than letting them dictate your behavior. Talk about the power of presence in controlling your mind. So often, our minds are stuck in the past, rehashing old regrets or projecting into the future, worrying about what might happen. But life happens in the present moment. When you learn to be fully present, you free yourself from the tyranny of past regrets and future anxieties. Practice mindfulness. Whether you are eating, walking, or talking with a friend, bring your full attention to the experience. Notice the sensations, the sounds, the smells. Engage fully with life as it is happening. This does not mean you never plan for the future or learn from the past. It means you do so consciously from a place of present awareness rather than getting lost in regret or worry. The role of physical health in controlling your mind. Your mind and body are intimately connected. When you take care of your physical health, you are also supporting your mental well-being. Exercise regularly. It does not have to be intense. Even a daily walk can make a significant difference. Exercise releases endorphins, reduces stress, and improves cognitive function. Eat nourishing foods. Your brain needs proper nutrition to function optimally. Hydrate well, get enough sleep. These basic self-care practices can have a profound impact on your mental state. Talk about the power of creativity in controlling your mind. Engaging in creative activities, whether that's writing, painting, music, dance, or any form of self-expression, can be deeply therapeutic. Creativity allows you to express emotions, explore ideas, and tap into parts of yourself you might not access through logical thinking alone. It can be a powerful tool for self-discovery and personal growth. Make time for creative pursuits, even if you do not consider yourself artistic. Remember, it is not about the end product. It is about the process of creation and self-expression. The importance of flexibility and controlling your mind. While having clear goals and beliefs is important, it is equally important to remain open and adaptable. The world is constantly changing, and new information is always emerging. Be willing to question your assumptions, to consider different perspectives, to adapt your approach when necessary. This mental flexibility will serve you well in all areas of life. It will help you navigate challenges, seize opportunities, and continue growing and evolving. Talk about the power of service in controlling your mind. When you focus on serving others, on making a positive difference in the world, you naturally shift your focus away from your own worries and limitations. Look for ways to contribute, to add value, to make someone's day a little brighter. It does not have to be grand gestures. Small acts of kindness can have a ripple effect, not only in the world around you, but in your own mindset. When you approach life with the spirit of service, you all find a sense of purpose and fulfillment that no amount of self-focused pursuit can provide. The role of patience in controlling your mind. In our fast-paced world, we often expect instant results. But true transformation, whether it is changing a habit, achieving a goal, or shifting your mindset, takes time. Be patient with yourself as you work on controlling your mind. Celebrate small progress. Recognize that setbacks are part of the journey. Each day you're planting seeds of change. Some may sprout quickly, others may take longer, but with consistent nurturing, they will all bloom in time. Consider the power of your habits in shaping your mind. Your daily routines, the small actions you repeat without thinking, have a cumulative effect on your mindset and your life. Take a close look at your habits. Are they aligned with the person you want to become? Start small. Choose one habit you'd like to change or develop. Maybe it is reading for 15 minutes before bed instead of scrolling through social media. Or perhaps it is taking a few deep breaths when you feel stressed instead of reaching for a sugary snack. Remember, it is not about perfection. 
it is about progress. Harness the power of your imagination. Uh, your mind does not distinguish between real and vividly imagined experiences. Use this to your advantage. Regularly visualize yourself overcoming challenges, achieving your goals, living your ideal life. Feel the emotions associated with these experiences. This is not mere daydreaming. It is mental rehearsal, preparing your mind for success. Consider keeping a journal. Writing down your thoughts can be a powerful tool for self-discovery and mind control. It allows you to externalize your internal dialogue, giving you a new perspective on your thought patterns. You might be surprised at what you discover when you put pen to paper. Practice the art of reframing. This involves looking at situations from a different perspective. When faced with a challenge, ask yourself, how else could I look at this? What opportunities might be hidden in this difficulty? By reframing, you are not denying reality but choosing to focus on aspects that empower rather than discourage you. Embrace the concept of neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. This means that no matter your age or past experiences, you can always change your thought patterns and behaviors. Your brain is not fixed. It is constantly evolving based on your experiences and focus. Consider the impact of your self-talk. The way you speak to yourself shapes your self-image and beliefs. Be mindful of your inner dialogue. Would you speak to a friend the way you speak to yourself? If not, it is time to cultivate a kinder, more supportive inner voice. Explore the power of intention. Start each day by setting a clear intention. It could be as simple as today. I choose peace or I intend to approach challenges with curiosity rather than fear. This sets the tone for your day and gives your mind a positive focus. Remember the importance of rest and renewal. In our busy world, we often equate productivity with worth, but your mind needs downtime to process, integrate, and recharge. Give yourself permission to rest without guilt. It is not laziness. It is essential self-care that allows you to show up fully in your life. Consider the role of your physical environment as shaping your mind. Your surroundings send subtle but powerful messages to your subconscious. Create a space that reflects the mindset you want to cultivate. This could mean decluttering your home, adding inspiring artwork, or creating a dedicated meditation. So embrace the power of affirmations, but make them personal and believable. Generic affirmations might not resonate. Instead, create statements that feel true and meaningful to you. For example, instead of I am wealthy, you might say I am capable of creating abundance in my life. Practice mindful consumption of information. In our digital age, we are constantly bombarded with information. Be selective about what you allow into your mind. Choose media that inspires, educates, and uplifts you. Remember, what you feed your mind is as important as what you feed your body. Cultivate a growth mindset. This means viewing challenges as opportunities to learn and grow rather than as threats or reflections of your worth. Embrace the phrase, I cannot do it. Yet, this simple addition acknowledges your current limitation while affirming your capacity for growth. Consider the power of your breath in controlling your mind. Your breath is a direct link between your body and mind. When you're stressed or anxious, your breath becomes shallow and rapid, by consciously slowing and deepening your breath, you can calm your mind and shift your state. Explore the concept of flow, that state of complete absorption in an activity where time seems to disappear. Engage regularly in activities that induce this state. It could be playing an instrument, gardening, or solving puzzles. Flow experiences not only bring joy, but also train your mind to focus deeply. Remember the importance of human connection in maintaining a healthy mind. While solitude can be valuable, we are inherently social beings. Nurture relationships that support your growth. Seek out conversations that challenge your thinking and expand your perspective. Practice active listening. Often, our minds are busy formulating responses instead of truly hearing others. By giving your full attention to others, you not only improve your relationships, but also train your mind to be present and focused. Explore the power of metaphor in shaping your thoughts. The metaphors we use to describe our experiences profoundly influence how we perceive them. For instance, 
viewing life as a journey rather than a race can lead to a more patient. Consider the role of purpose in directing your mind. When you have a clear sense of purpose, it becomes easier to focus your thoughts and actions. Reflect on what truly matters to you. What legacy do you want to leave? Let this guide your daily choices and thought patterns. Remember, controlling your mind is not about achieving a state of constant happiness or eliminating all negative thoughts. It is about developing the awareness and skills to navigate your internal landscape with grace and intention. It is about becoming the author of your own story, rather than a passive character reacting to circumstances. In conclusion, my friends, controlling your mind is both a science and an art. It requires consistent practice, patience, and self-compassion. But the rewards are immeasurable. As you master your mind, you all find yourself living with greater purpose, joy, and fulfillment. You all become more resilient in the face of challenges, more open to opportunities, more present in your relationships. Remember, you have within you everything you need to create the life you desire. Your mind is the most powerful tool at your disposal. Use it wisely, nurture it lovingly, and watch as it transforms not only your inner world, but your outer reality as well. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And the journey of mind control begins with a single thought. Choose that thought wisely, my friends, for it has the power to change your entire life.